North Yorkshire's traffic cops. Crash, 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 crash. 140 mile an hour. How stupid are you? Driving down crime in England's largest county. Don't lie to me. Stone, stone, stone. Across 3,000 square miles. Your vehicle's been stolen by an ambulance heading towards. Dealing with danger on the roads. What the hell are you doing? is trapped in the vehicle upside down. Under pressure. Go over there and I will speak to you. Come on, mate, talk to us. The house! You're under arrest! I don't want to move! And at risk. Tell me what I can't see! Mate, right, you're under arrest. Cuts off! Like you've had enough! That serious organised crime level. Any more strikes, mate, you're gonna go to prison. Around every corner. You're just gonna kill somebody. Why haven't you stopped? There's a new challenge. For the traffic cops. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Coming up. One out, one out. After dark in the Yorkshire Dales. The vehicle has continued, he's gone to the near side of a hedge. Runaway thieves with nowhere to hide. Got contact, got contact. You are now all under arrest on suspicion of conspiracy to steal. Suspects caught on the move. And I've seen some many £50 notes. And nighttime chances. You know I'm going to fail it, don't you, if I smoke it? All oh, right. Excellent. Testing the limits. He sniffed a load of coke, smoked a load of crack in the back of the van. Could do a prawn sandwich. Tell me you're middle class, right? Tell me you're middle class. Head central traffic unit, so we're just getting a report of coming in. Fire reliable sighting if you commit towards, so I'll pass the details shortly. Nighttime policing in North Yorkshire is a key time for catching criminals on the move. I've just had a report that it's been sighted in uh, um, probably about four junctions north of where we're going to be. Traffic cops Chris Storey and Sergeant Tim Wilson are looking for a stolen car linked to a series of catalytic converter thefts. They might not stop for police, so uh, we'll head there and be in a position to assist if it doesn't stop. Each year, millions of pounds worth of catalytic converters are stolen, melted down and sold on for their precious metals. If we don't come across it, I'll stop there. Yeah, I think that's fair. Is that a fair plan? That's fair. As a police officer, you don't know what you're dealing with until you stop these people. And you, you don't know what they're capable of and you don't know what risks they're willing to take. So we're just going to drop down and see if we can see that coming past. We're going to stop in the junction. Just as Chris and Tim park up. Is that definitely it? Yeah, definitely it. The suspect car passes them. Yeah, Reggie's right. Dodgy plate, like. Can we uh, request our authority to continue pursuit? Yeah, but it made away up. Yes, yes. Speed is 90. What he's doing is incredibly dangerous. What are the reasons and circumstances for the further stop and what your considerations, please? Yeah, the vehicle is believed to be involved in calling converter theft. Um, vehicle is wrong side of the road, back to the correct. How many confirmed thefts have happened to converters? As far as I'm aware, one. There was two other attempts. Three As we approach a vehicle, it's offside into oncoming traffic. Stand by. It's back to the correct. But when you can transform some mercy advice. If we were going to try and get ahead for a stinger. As we approach the offside bend, can we have the M-pass lift in? With the police helicopter scrambled. Please know where that stinger is. Tim coordinates the pursuit on the ground. Where's that stinger negotiating the offside for North Dean? We've got a stinger position set up at Spinner Roundabout. Crack it. 
And we'll just send her in the 30s on the front of the mini roundabout. Is it? Yeah, it's out the roundabout on the right, so left, left, left. What was that? Vehicle has been stung, it continues for the village. High Street to Wood. Speed is 8-0. Yeah, yeah, that's received. Speed is 9-0. Whenever we deal with people like this, we, we know that they're, they're not wanting to stop for us because they're likely to have a load of gear on board which will assist them in their crimes, so they don't want to be stopped in possession of that. Vehicle is slowing. I believe that it must have lost a tyre and now we're due to 8-0. Just to confirm that the suit has been authorised. Yeah, that's received. He's straddling both lanes and now to the offside. There's no oncoming vehicles. He's putting everyone at risk, isn't he? He's putting every person that he's driving past on the road, he's putting at risk. We have now got an oncoming vehicle, but it's back to the correct side. He is reduced now to 5 0. The last thing we want is ultimately for this vehicle to be involved in a collision and somebody get hurt. Stand by for deep camp, we're going into an offside lay by and it's a right, right, right. Stand by. Now, uh, one out, one out. The vehicle has continued, he's gone to the near side of a hedge. We are now on. Male out, he's wearing grey tracksuit bottoms and a black coat. Stand by, we're coming to a gate. It's going to be a deep camp. Confirmed for 6 and 4 continued on the local channel. Yeah, pass me, we'll give us those blue lights and appreciate it. Yeah, we've got our blue lights on, there's two police cars with blue lights on. Yes, sir. With the three suspects on the run, a dog unit arrives. And pass it through our Three units currently in the woods that they're trying to make their way out to the east at the moment. Over. Never seen. Why do I need to be, mate? Where's? I'm just going over here. One of them had black trainers on with a white flashing on the back. Never seen. Yeah, come. Good boy, thank you. As the police dog picks up a scent, we're along this field, mate, back towards the top end of it. Tim updates the helicopter crew. Bailed out first, but he's in open field, so I think he'll probably be fair game. And then the other two are in woodlands, it's undisturbed, so I think they're going to be better ones to get. Got contact, got contact. Come out now, let's talk to Joey. Come out now! Yeah, he's here. I'm sinking it! Watch your arm, mate. I'm not doing anything. Legs up, onto your bum. Right, stand up. <laughs> Is anyone else in these woods? You don't know. You know him to police at all, buddy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. You got any stuff for you? What stuff? Anything. Uh, Wallet, phone? Money. Just a bit of money? Yeah. You alright? You got a bit of cut to your face. I'm alright. I'm alright, right, you alright? Yeah. yeah, I'm back with the car now. Um, he does have a cat converter in the back. Along with their cutting equipment, and there's a very large jack. I think I found another set of number plates. Right, you've been arrested for burglary. Burglary, I've just. Let me finish. Let me finish, just so you can hear it all out and say whatever you like at the end. At the moment, you're under arrest for burglary, stolen motor vehicle, failed to stop, dangerous driving, and interference with the motor vehicle. Okay, times three. Well, could you uh, get on to Harrogate and uh, get in the police? With pleasure. Good work. Despite an extensive search, the other two men are still missing. As a roads police officer, our job is to keep the roads safe ultimately, but part of that is, is taking criminality off the road because they create danger. What we do do is we keep the roads safe and we tackle criminality using the roads, especially travelling criminals. Coming up... What are you on bail for? Suspected burglars caught on the move. Yeah, just a few things. 
You are now all under arrest on suspicion of conspiracies to steal. And... One's like brand new, a 20 Is it? player, so he's running the bin of that now. Caravan thieves, out under the cover of darkness. We've got oxyacetylene and drill and... Is it? It's a blowtorch. How can I help? 1,200 calls come into North Yorkshire Police every day. Oscar Sierra 15, just confirm you've got ambulance en route. ETA 10 minutes. The vehicle is currently headed into North Yorkshire's area. The registered keeper is showing as previously failed to stop. Oscar Romeo 56. Do you want to show me making some progress from Harrogate down towards the 64? Whereabouts do you want me where isn't covered? Traffic cop Sergeant Pete Stringer is responding to an alert on a wanted car. So we're looking for black Audi. It's been linked to a couple of burglaries where properties, residential buildings have been broken into uh, and cars taken. 694 to 674. Subscribe. We're just going to move out and see if we can find it. Yeah, it's A few miles ahead, Traffic cop Joe Schramm and Special Constable Toby Ganella are also looking for the car. There's a vehicle from West Yorkshire. It's been sighted coming into our area, so we'll just head out and have a look, see if we can spot anywhere. The road network in North Yorkshire, and we have about 6,000 miles of road, so it's, it's a constant challenge. Uh, a lot of travelling criminality coming in from surrounding forces. Double crewed vehicle, t pack train driver. So there's been a sighting of the Audi. Vehicle's keeping quite close to the vehicle in front of it, with a bit of braking. So just approaching the uh, Motland bypass. Speed is seven zero miles an hour. One behind it. Ten that's received. Yes, yes. Vehicle is into the uh, village. I'm doing my best to hold off, but it's. I'm going to show how the vehicle is continuing eastbound on the A64. Traffic car behind it, they made no attempt to stop it, but he's in a marked car, so obviously the concern is that it's going to react. I'm sure he's aware that I'm behind him. Yeah, that's received. And I as well make sure they don't chuck out of the vehicle. The plan is to surround the car and bring it to a stop. Can we just let five know, please, just to make sure there's no response units that are just going to blue light past him or... Um, Spook him. Thank you. And there's no one on 64, it's clear. 1640, just joining the 64 uh, east of Bramham. Do you want me to keep travelling east or that? <laughs> so it's continuing towards um, general direction of Scarborough. Still Morton Bypass. What previous of the um, registered keeper this got? Registered keeper is a female. She's linked to uh, a robbery. We should be fine waiting for the, um, the Sarge and Day 80 to get behind us. 10-4, that's received. Closing fairly quickly. I think the people that commit the offences quite often just try the luck. But at the end of the day, they need to get lucky all the time. We only need to get lucky once to catch them. Looking back at us as we're following them in, um, but it's entering McDonald's car park. Pulling into a spot, stand by. Yeah, I'll get it Okay, thank you. We've got it. I'll put it down. Hello. Hi. Keep your hands away, we can see them in the back. Hey, lad, keep off your phone. Keep off your phone. Suzanne, cuff him, please. We don't know what they're here for. Put your phone down. Well, you're not even grab me like that, mate. Do as you're told by my colleague when you're told. What, what? She's got my phone, hasn't she? Just watch your face. Why are you grabbing me like that? Is there a reason why you pulled us? It's only the driver that needs to know why we've yeah, stopped well, I, the I can know as well. No, you can. I can, I can. It's legal. It's legal. Are you the driver? I'm not the driver, no, but I'm the passenger. So, yeah, The so, passengers are also allowed to know. So the powers to stop any vehicle on the road to ascertain if the driver has got documentation. I, I, not I, to I, tell the passenger. I'm allowed to ask my questions, sorry, it's legal. Yeah, and it's been explained. If you weren't listening, that's your fault. Am I not allowed to record you? 
I've never seen well. camera recorded. Well, you took my phone off me, didn't you? No. Yeah, my phone's still over there. So you, you did. It's still recording. Know, yes, so you've not I've never about touched it. you, pal. Yes, you I've been this side of the Your door. Colleagues in. Oh, so we're all the same, are we? We're just yeah, one person. Are. Yeah. Thank you. They literally said they've come all the way from Leeds to Scarborough to uh, get a takeaway. Obviously, we were born yesterday, and we don't believe them for a minute. All right, all, all four of you listening. Yeah. This moment in time, you're all going to be detained for a search of yeah, yourselves right. and of the vehicle. Yeah. All right? For items linked to uh, theft offences yeah. and going equipped for theft, OK? The vehicle has been seen in suspicious circumstances near to Epergary a few days ago, near to the York area. That potentially shows just how far criminals will travel these days to commit their offences. Uh, we're a long, long way from Leeds. What have iPhones in this car? When you pull that out, there's a bit of money, because obviously we've come to Scarborough, so... For a posh night out? Not really, no. <laughs> no? Do you know how much cash you've got? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. How much? Well, there's uh, 4.55. All your money? Yeah, all money. Never seen so many £50 notes. All of that back in there, all right? I'll zip that. it up for you. Always, what are you on bail for? Uh, just a few things. Such as? Yeah, I don't know. You must know. What are you on bail for? I don't yeah. know, just a few things. Right. Okay. Mail is coming back as wanted. Just confirm, is it conspiracy to uh, to steal or is it conspiracy <laughs> to bear with? Uh, yep, yeah, he's recorded niche. He's got several markers on there as well. You're all listening to me? Yeah. yeah. Due to information I've had passed to me, you are now all under arrest on suspicion of conspiracies to steal. I'm just going to pop you in cuffs. Can we speak first? Pop you in a set of cuffs. I'm not... We're getting arrested. Like you are arrested. Just pop you in. Okay. I don't understand, but we haven't done anything wrong. I'm just telling you, that's all I've got at the minute. I'm getting the full details, but all, I've, all the information I've been given is to arrest all four of you. Oh, my God. I can't deal with this. I'm going to cry. We've done nothing wrong. What will happen? Will we, uh, um, you'll be going to. I think you'll be getting transferred to West Yorkshire. And we'll be there till morning. Probably, yeah. Oh my, we're going to be in till morning. We've got work and everything. The two lads in the back are prolific, uh, and I suspect that the two lasses in the front have been uh, encouraged to drive them across here to uh, have a look around with a potential view to. Uh, stealing things in the future so certainly the, the two lads in the back of the car know what they're doing and why they're across in Scarborough. How many vans have we got? Four. Four We've got four now. What do you what's not coming with me? Your phone. We're seizing it. Yeah I know and they're still gonna bring it in my van mate. I've already spoke to them so don't tell me different. Let's stop grabbing me like that then am I gonna run? Why are you grabbing me tight and I have no time for them at all. Young gentleman, fairly obnoxious, full of bragging and boast. I'm driving up. I don't know what piece of the light now was, do you? Lovely. Right. Yeah. Alright. What's going on? If you just follow my colleague here, he's just going to take you over to his van and we'll get his custody. The four have been taken to Scarborough custody where they'll be uh, documented and detained. Obviously, they'll be interviewed in due course realistically tomorrow morning. You've already been searched. Nothing's in this van, so if anything's left in here afterwards, then it's a tribute to you. We'll seize all their mobile phones so they can be examined as part of the uh, conspiracy to steal. Uh, we're just waiting for recovery on the car that's also being seized as it's uh, possibly being used in crime. I think there's a, a misconception that North Yorkshire, because it's such a large force, it's rural, that uh, it's easier to commit crime. Uh, and I think, as we've shown this evening, it isn't. Seventy miles west of Scarborough. Convoy of three caravans being towed. Is that anyone jogging in flip stops then? Traffic cop Sergeant Paul Cording and Jerry Tunney receive another report of suspected thieves on the move. Caravans have been stolen from a campsite just south of York. Caravan theft is on the increase in North Yorkshire. Caravans can be worth an absolute fortune, depending on the spec of them and the age of them. I think for something reasonably new and quite high spec, you can be talking 20 or 30 grand quite easily. The fact we're bordered by seven different counties makes us 
quite unique because we have a lot of challenges from people coming from out of the county. Officers up ahead are trailing the suspects. Half past ten on a Thursday evening, not usually in time to be moving three caravans around, so that's going to heighten suspicion straight away. Rear blue, if you can. They were off. They've made off on foot towards the lead vehicle. One of them's on each one of the caravans um, and made off in the vehicle, and the other people who were in the other cars have decamped, and we believe got in the vehicle that's made off. The caravans have been abandoned, but the suspects have escaped. They've done well, haven't they? Because they've basically pulled it into the middle as well, so don't get around. Officers who were trailing the caravan update Paul. One's like brand new, a 20 Is it? player, so he's running the bin of that now. So oh, okay. They've got oxyacetylene and drill and cuts in that. Is it? Is it? Tools left in the abandoned car show all the signs of an organised gang. That's a cutting gear, so if they need to get into any of the sites and they can't get in, they'll use the oxyacetylene. There's quite a lot of heavy security with these because they get pinched quite often. They've been into every car then as well, which is strange. Have they? Unless they're looking for trackers or they're all open, yeah. Bus. Around 4,000 caravans are stolen each year across the UK. It reeks, doesn't it? It's like they've wiped it all down. They've, they've done it with both. Have they? Got... They know what they're doing. We'll, we'll go through it with fine two comb like that. There'll be bits that they can't wipe down that we might get something back off. They're not knackered old caravans, they're somebody's pride and joy, so there's thousands of pounds here. So whilst it's frustrating that at the moment we haven't got any suspects or offenders with us, I'm sure the owners of these three caravans will be very pleased that they'll get them returned. We do suffer with cross-border criminality because people see North Yorkshire as an affluent area um, and then criminals will exploit that, try and come in, uh, commit crime and get out again undetected which presents us a massive challenge. Coming up... That's your cannabis possession. It's not working, is it not? It's not just criminals taking their chances on North Yorkshire's roads. Test positive, I'm going to arrest you at this time on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle whilst over a specified drug limit. Late night party goers. How long has it since you've had a drink of that? Force officers into action. Have you taken anything? No. Oh, you have to piss me off now. If you do need a 21, let me know because I'm doing it wrong. It's the start of the Saturday night shift. Traffic cop Chris Story is heading out on patrol. We're mainly focusing on people who are choosing to go out, have a drink and, and get in a car ultimately. That's, that's what my role is. I'm preventing people from being hurt on the roads and quite clearly drink drivers contribute to that quite significantly. On the outskirts of Scarborough. We'll see what it's like up to York, but it, it was a little bit wobbly at first. I think he knows I'm here now and he's trying a bit more. It's 1 a.m and Chris spots an unsteady driver. Yeah, we'll give him a go. It's almost like he knew that was coming then. Got it stopped. How are you doing all right? Is it your car? Yeah. Yeah, don't just turn your engine off for me. Just pass me your keys out. I just want to have a look at it and make sure it's roadworthy before you go any further, all right? It's my dad's car, but I'm a, I'm a named driver on it. Ah, oh, right. Driving. Perfect. The reason I stopped you is because of your speed. You're going a little bit quick. I ain't got a speedo. My speedo stopped working, but I didn't, I didn't think I was going that fast, to be honest. It's not working, is it not? No, I don't know why. It just won't work sometimes. I'll show you if you want. If you jump in, I'll show you, but it's not working. Right, OK, no problem. I'm just going to have a quick look around your car before we go any further. Have you had out to drink? Yeah. We can drink test you. Right, OK. Got him. I've got four new tyres. It's all, my, all bald about three weeks ago. 
It's not in the best state. It's definitely one of your tyres that's um, that's not road legal. Your front, this one down here. Did you know about that? Um, have you got your driver's license with you? So what will happen about the tyre then? I'll just go and do some checks and I'll come back to you, all right? Oscar Romeo 13 to extend. Can I get a vehicle check, please? Shown as untaxed. Yeah, received. Can you get us some recovery rolling then, please? I've just got some driver details as well as what I need to check, if you don't mind. Shot drugs marker. Cannabis possession. And just grab a seat in the back. What's the situation with the tax on the vehicle? Is it not taxed? No. It should, it should be taxed. Uh, have you taxed it yourself or...? Yeah, it's through a direct debit. Right, I can just show you on my phone can what it's... Can I tax it's... it now? Taxed. No. So what are you going to do, tax that? It's going to become one of us then, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's not got any tax on it. Really? Not if I just tax it now? No. That's not the way it works, unfortunately. What I want to do is, while I've got you, do a couple of preliminary tests before any drugs. I thought you'd get let off if you smoke cannabis. You know what I'm going to say, like, if I smoke it, I'm going to... Well, when did you last smoke it? Um, last night. I had a cigarette last night. OK. Well, we'll see if it comes up, if it tests positive, then we'll go down that route. OK. What'll happen if I refuse it? You'll get locked up, and it'll be, and it'll be the same, it'll be the same result. Really? Yeah. So it'll be a sample of saliva to do this. Have you done one of these before? OK. Stick it right out. That's it, perfect. Keep it there. That's fine. This one takes generally about eight minutes to do, OK. Stay with me. While Chris waits for the results of the drug test, traffic cop Gav Pearson arrives to check on the car. Hello, mate. Just front. Okay. Of course, yeah. Looks like somebody's hit it. Hit it from this side. Somebody's hit it from this side, that's why it's all fragmented this side. It's completely devoid of tread on that side edge. You can see it's just going completely smooth. As soon as it starts getting smooth, you've got no grip at all. You've got no ability to actually displace any water through the grip. So it just ends up being slick. Just waiting for an accident, that's all. I mean, this is going to get seized because of no tax anyway, but I'm going to put a prohibition on it as well. So it means that she can't just get it straight out of the compound and just put tax on it. It's going to be whether it's worth the value of the car to actually get it repaired. Um, it looks like it's had a, quite a hard life, in all honesty. Right, so you, your car has got defects on it, which are uh, totally in to Yeah, but it's totally in You're driving it. Yeah. That, that's the thing. Um, obviously, the tyre's defective. We should change the tyre so we could... Well, yeah, but you need... Yeah, but the thing is, is you should be checking them constantly. If you've started a journey, you should check if you start a journey. So that there's a braking fault on it, so you're driving around with that. And then the bodywork at the back is loose. So overall, it's classed as being in a dangerous condition. So what will happen is, a prohibition means you can't drive it on a road. Okay, so if you're wanting it back out of the impound, you'll have to collect it on back of a lorry. And it'll have to go for a repair straight away. And then it'll have to go for a full MOT. It's quite a no, it's basically I'm voiding oh, it now, right, yeah. yeah. With the car taken away, the test results are in. I'm tested positive, I'm going to arrest you at this time on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle whilst over a specified drug limit. The driver of this Fiesta is under arrest for a drug drive. Have you got a van that could come and grab her, please, from my location? You're well happy now, aren't you? No, I wouldn't you say we're happy. Then? I'd much rather have stopped you and just had a quick chat. Your car had been all right. There'd be no issue when you'd be on your way, that'd be, I'd be more than happy with that. Right, let's go. Turn all your pockets out for me so I can see that you've got now in them. What have you got underneath that? And just turn your jeans pockets out. Put your hand, you can't turn them out, love. Put your fingers in. No, so I, just, I can see there's nothing in there, that's fine. Jump yourself in. Ultimately, she's made the decision to get in this car tonight. She knows that the tyre's bald, she knows about the windscreen, she knows the car's in a dangerous condition. She's admitted to me that she uses cannabis and that she used some the, night, the previous night. So all of that is, she's aware of. So she does only have herself to blame, really. After you. 
The driver's given a sample of blood, which is excellent, so um, we'll get that analysed forensically and see where her levels are at. She's tested positive for cannabis and cocaine, so we'll see um, if them drugs are present in her blood. She has started to get quite upset in custody. The impacts that drug driving bring in terms of uh, potential loss of her licence are starting to set in. No. <laughs> no. 70 miles west of Scarborough, traffic cop Jerry Tunney is on patrol with colleague Chris Graham Marlowe. It's not hanging about. One, two, three, help me. Check, please, West Park. Looking out for more late night party goers. It turned right out of this side road, which seemed a bit odd, and then it was like. Shall we follow it a minute? It's not hanging about either. Like proper not hanging about because it's now it's uh, creeping along. <laughs> it stinks. I got a uh, mobile vehicle chip, please. It smells like burning brakes or something. He stopped very abruptly. Yes. Is he going to try and set off again? Turn your engine off. All oh, right. Excellent. How long is it since you've had a drink of that? You haven't touched it? Right. Can you just step out a second for me? Have you had a drink tonight? Yes. Right. Because of your manner of driving, the fact that's just dropped out of your car yeah, yeah. and you've told me you've had a drink, I'm going to request a sample of breath. If you fail to provide, I'll provide a positive sample, you'll be arrested. Okay. So with this, yeah. I just need you to take a deep breath and blow into it until I tell you to stop. That's it, stop. Thank you. What's maximum? The legal limit's 35. Right, you've blown 78, so you are under arrest on suspicion of driving whilst over the prescribed limit of alcohol. Stay here. Come for you send us a, uh, a van? No, I'm not going anywhere. You're not, you're right. Because you're under arrest, my colleagues have told you you're under arrest. I'm going to cuff you up. So you have to come to Harrogate Police Station with us, unfortunately. I say, you got, have you got somewhere to stay tonight? The group of young lads have been to a wedding and are returning to their hotel. Car's going nowhere, so you might as well jump out. Have we got a van coming down? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Got to jump out. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there is a van coming down towards us, please. Because you started uh, being a bit argumentative, didn't you, and walking off. Do us a favour, just step back for us. Go get yourself a taxi. When dealing with drunk people, I'll be patient for so long. Once that wears my uh, inner sarcasm makes an appearance. Never did that wrong, really. No, drink driving's not an offence at all. We never did, we never drunk drive, did he? Do us a favour and walk off go get and go get a taxi. Well, can I swap place with him? No. What did you do to let him go? What do I do? Yeah. I'm going to the station. No, I forced him to do it. I forced him at gunpoint. I so, are we locking you up because you've got a gun then? If you start making stupid comments like that... It doesn't matter, mate. Here we go, look. Thank you. Your chariot away. Come on. There you go, you can sit on there, look. Sit down. Sit in there. Yes, please. Well, at least get these handcuffs taken. Uh, as soon as you get to custody, buddy, you can get them taken off. All right. In the morning, you'll all have sobered up. Thank you, we'll see you up there. To prove drink driving at court, the officers need an evidential sample of breath. Mind you where you're ready, because we don't want you setting the alarms off, which is uh, what that is. Concentrate on what I'm about to tell you. I'm the one that's going to be reading this out to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Have you, since the time of the alleged offence, which is when we stopped you on the road, consumed or used any of the following things, and if so, what? Cross it all out. Skip it on. Can I have my own opinion? Yes. So shut up. It's next. A, it's mandatory next, that I read it. Next, out. next. Alcohol next, or other drinks. Next. 
it's quite difficult when you're trying to reason with someone who's got alcohol in the system. Do you know what? We have to ask the question. It's we have to be fair. Procedure. No, it's no, 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 just wait, no, just no, 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 just no, no, just no, just no, just no, no, just no, 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 they quite often don't want to take responsibility for their actions. It's someone else's fault. They want to argue with you. What have I done? I know that, but we have to ask oh you. Oh my. I've sniffed a load of coke, yeah? I smoked a load of crack in the back of the van. Inhaled anything? No. Oh, you actually pissed me off now. Have you taken anything? No. Mm. Have you ever asked me anything else? Is it no? Right, when you're ready, take a nice big deep breath in for me and blow. See, don't blow too hard, just keep going. Mouth up. Because you uh, didn't blow properly, it's recorded what they call mouth alcohol, which means that we'll end up going for a specimen. But I'll breathe again if you want me to. Unfortunately, you can't because you. He's done that one. You're actually a joke. Oh no, shit, that's happening in this world. I've decided you to choose. No. no, shut up. And you choose me. I've been to collisions where it's involved a drink driver. They've killed people, they've killed themselves, and they've made that decision to get behind the wheel of the car and drive. I will require you to provide me with a specimen of blood or urine. Do you consent? No, I don't consent. The driver failed to provide an evidential sample in custody, so will likely get banned from driving by the court. So he's lost his licence, possibly his livelihood as well, depending on what he does for a living. Come on, then, we'll go back down to see the custody sergeant. I've absolutely no sympathy for him. He was clearly well under the influence of alcohol. Just stay in the way for us. You're in jail. Right, just take it straight, so... Seven, Which seven. one? Number seven. Number seven, no problem. Put it over there, sink to there. He should never have been behind the wheel of that vehicle. It's not worth the risk. There's so much at stake when you get behind the wheel of a car over the limit. Coming up... It's going off. The traffic cops on the hunt. It's a Mercedes 4 before. I think he's heading back towards site. For another nighttime runaway. Let's put alongside it, make sure there's no one in it before I get out. some lights in the field. Mike, we're just coming over the A1 bridge now. If we come over that, is it the field immediately to the near side? 15 miles south of York, traffic cop Tim Wilson is on patrol with Sergeant Rich Harrison. We're just going to um, a nearby location, the field where it's possibly lampers in the field. Lampers are poachers who hunt at night with lights. It's a regular problem in North Yorkshire, with over 1,300 incidents last year. It's going to be interesting, this. I've just put the reds down. There, it's, it's off. It's gone. Yeah. It's like neon light. Anyone head to Campbellsworth for us? It's obvious that they're up to no good. Going back in, he's doing a U-E car park. Behind you, coming back up at site. I think he's heading back towards site. It's a Mercedes 4 before. He's heading back towards the site at speed away from us. A black Mercedes. We initially put blues on, but obviously you just monitoring from a distance. Chris and Rich, are you nearby? Are you heading down? Has he got, he's gone into the site. Has he? Yeah, he's into the site. That's oh, we can head back down. Yeah, it's heading into the uh, traveller site. Uh, now, which way is it gone? Put alongside it, make sure there's no one in it before I get out. Oh, 
Six and four, you stand by with this vehicle and pass you the uh, VIN. Yeah, that's great. What's the sketch with it? Don't know. It just confirms it come back to somewhere in Rotherham. Yeah, I'll order that on the insurance page, please. Stinks. Is that how old are they, sorry? Yeah, how old are them too, please? The car is registered to a couple in their 50s. Who's a lot younger than that one, eh? Say that again. Who's a bit younger than that? Yeah, we're young like. Should I just should we drive it off, recover it? Uh. Yeah, I think we should do that. When we've done some checks on PNC, it comes back to a male and female, which sound like husband and wife. And it definitely wasn't, you know, it were two young lads, mid to late teens, so it's either been stolen or they've recently purchased it or taken it as a full car and it's uninsured, so that's we're gonna take it away. That just goes to show there that this job's a game of fractions. There's all these little tracks everywhere, we've chosen that track to drive off at that time, and that's come towards us. If we'd have continued, we'd, we'd never seen that. It's a thing of beauty, is that like? You know, and they're the type of cars that are used in crime and they're a menace to us and they're a menace to the public. So it's good to have shot that off the road. There's no evidence of poaching, but something else has caught the officer's attention. Bit of cannabis in centre console. A quantity of cannabis uh, there. Um, the car smells of it, so the chances are, if that's in the vehicle, um, that the occupants of that are going to have used it or intending to use it whilst driving, so uh, the chances are they're under the influence. Whether that's the sole reason for them failing to stop, um, we don't know, but all we can do is assume that that's one of the contributing factors and that we've taken somebody off the road that's dangerous tonight um, in relation to this vehicle. It's a family car and you can only assume that if it is their car, but in the day they have probably drive their family around it and in the night and they're out doing stuff they shouldn't be. Ultimately the people that were in it are obviously a danger whether that's for committing crime or for driving under the influence. Whether they are dealing with suspected drink or drug drivers or organised thieves, night shifts are always a busy time for the traffic cops. North Yorkshire is unique in its road networks. It's a rural county, but then through the middle of it, we've got the A1. The result of that is you've got loads of villages, towns, cities that come off that, that are opportunity for travelling criminality to drop off the network, go into and target us, and then be quite quickly back on the network and away again. So it's challenging in that sense, but we've got to keep working hard to make sure we're one step ahead. A lot of police pursuits that we get are during the night when we're looking for burglars, when we're looking for people stealing cars. Times have changed and our numbers have increased massively and with that so is our proactivity. So we're able to go out there now and target the people we should be targeting. Stand by. In this episode... Uh, one out, one out. Please come to the near side of her hedge. The runaway suspect, linked to the theft of catalytic converters, remains under investigation whilst the police further their inquiries. Do you set of cuffs? Are we getting arrested? Like you are arrested. All four of the suspects arrested on suspicion of burglary near Scarborough were taken into custody by West Yorkshire Police. What are you on bail for? Uh, Such as. But later released without action. You must know. It's off. It's gone. The fail to stop runaway driver who dumped a stolen car has not been identified. The car was returned to the registered keeper. Any of the sites and they can't get in, they'll use the cutting gear. Police are awaiting the results of forensic tests on all the vehicles and equipment recovered after thieves abandoned three stolen caravans. But so far, no suspects have been identified. Oh, oh shit, that's happening in this world. I've just started you to choose no. no, shut up. And you choose me. The suspected drink driver, who refused to take a blood test at the police station, was banned from the roads for 18 months. 
and received fines totaling over a thousand pounds. So I thought you'd get let off if you smoke cannabis. And the young woman who tested positive for cocaine and cannabis at the roadside has been released under investigation whilst the police await the results of a blood test. Traffic cops are back new next Monday at 8. Recalling the last time Europe stood on the brink of war, tyrants, the rise of Adolf Hitler continues brand new Wednesday at 9. And tonight, a poorly toddler is getting rushed into a busy Barnsley A&E as every second counts in Casualty 24-7. New next.